So, just to give you a quick tour here, we're at a wash and dry in Brooklyn, and the silly sort of semi-noir mystery kind of goofy thing about this is the premise I came up with is that ballerinas are disappearing all over the city, the highly competitive world of ballet. Who is offing these ballerinas? And a star detective, our buddy Nick, is investigating the case. And the latest one is turned up in a dryer here in Brooklyn. We're gonna have lights in the street. They're gonna be pro photo B4 lights, big lights, okay, 1,000 watt seconds, gelled to the color of the neon. That's gonna flare in this way. Still not sure of the direction because I'm not sure where I can place them yet because of the traffic outside. Then we're gonna kind of put a green gel in the background over here, like that disgusting kind of, you know, fluorescent green. Got to dumb down the ambient exposure, maybe even turn the lights off. And then we're gonna light up front our talent, our um, perpetrator, if you will, is a competitive ballerina. And Nick, who's gonna be questioning her. And then of course, Erica, who's inside the dryer. And we'll take it from there. So what I'd like to do is get one of these little rolling and kind of fluff it in there. Okay. If you can find a couple of things from our stuff, like maybe one of those empty pro photo shells, a couple of them to make the volume bigger, and then we wrap the clothes on top of it. Just a jumble, colorful jumble. Okay. Cool. okay. All right, cool. Let's move it closer to camera, please. Can we fluff it a bit more, make it a bigger mound? Yeah, a little more volume. We're going to place the lights outside at the last possible moment. Compositional question of the moment, do I kick the frame and get a little dynamic into it, or do I keep the line of dryers straight? Not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll probably end up doing it both ways. i got to get basic gesture down before I do anything else. We'll see what happens. You know what I need is an, uh, either an A1 or an A1X. Okay. Let's put it on uh, B channel, like a B1, okay. and it's going to take a full CTO. The, the Profoto gel kit, I'll show it, it just magnetizes right in. There's a, there's a nice little clip type deal, and I'll show you that, and we'll, and we'll just get that unit going. That's going to be my inside the dryer light. Okay. okay. Let's go D. Yeah, no TTL. Okay. We'll go D, because this is going to be just coming from the background. It's going to be mildly inconsequential. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll start off with this as a bounce. I don't know if we'll have enough juice. Um, I'm gonna actually going to rack it out. I'll go to 10.0. We'll see what happens. Because one of my enemies, really, is going to be the amount of available light in here. Um, so we'll see how it, how it works. That's nice. I haven't worked with these too much, but they're really nice. Um, this is a B10 plus, 500 watt seconds, super easy to work. And uh, remote controllable, TTL, the whole nine yards. Um, so let's see what happens with that. Okay. See that? That's actually not bad, uh, just even out of the gate. You know, um, just given that kind of ochre, sort of like disgusting, you know. Um, I want a lot of sharpness in this, so I'm gonna try to stick around F8. Let's do this. Can we put another unit, it could be a B1X, all the way up as well. Green gel, same as that. And let's bang them into the wall. See where it says dryer instructions? Because this is a little kind of telltale, this sort of harshness here. So if we turn them and just wash them into that wall, we might get a little kind of green point. Both of them in the same direction. Exactly, yeah. Both of them full up. To complete this, what we have to do, I think, because I'm sort of lighting this from the back to the front, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have to put those lights out on the street. Okay. What do you think? If we put the blinkers on and double parked it here, probably be all right. I mean, it's worth a try, yeah. Yeah. So we, we take a lot it, of things with blinkers. We take it, take it out of the lot and then we put the B4s, keep a window cracked, run the cables. I've got Mafer clamps okay. in the, in the uh, 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 duffel bags, and we clamp those guys, and we flare these two red through there, blue through there, obviously, um, and we just kind of, kind of come in here with it, keep it as tight as we can, 
and we'll just have to sort of keep an eye on it. Maybe Irwin can kind of come out, this and that. Christina, just kind of keep an eye on it. Okay. You know, and hopefully nobody just slams into it, you know? Yeah. All right? Let's hope that. So we're going to clamp these to the roof rack of my truck because we don't have a permit for the sidewalk. So it's a way for me to keep my lights on the outside and not have to occupy New York City real estate by putting stands on the sidewalk, which could lead to somebody coming by and saying, have you got a permit for that? So we'll impromptu work out something. All right? Okay, so you'll be having a tutu, which will uh -huh. spill out. Yes. And then I can get you more, um, I can get you more towels to make you comfortable. I mean, I really don't need them, I think. Yes, perfect, thank you. Thank you very much. You can put these towards oh. your back, and that'll keep the back a little softer. They're clean. It's a laundromat. <laughs> yeah, they're all clean. They're all clean. All right. Let's see. Turn you this way? this way a little bit. And then just let your legs come down. You're going to have two, two will be spilling out, and these will be just point shoes. And you'll just kind of lean back and be dead. Be, yes, be, you know, <laughs> a lovely corpse. I love it. Okay. All right. That's going to work well. You're gonna, I'm going to have to hide you a little bit better, but okay. you know, we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay. You know, you know so I mean, the p shoes will be pink. Bare legs, cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Probably packs up as high as you can okay. for a radio reception. All right, cool. Okay. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that angle, this angle looks a little steep. Yeah, bring it in. Yeah. That way. Was that a rat? That was a very large rat. I thought it was a cat. Might be angled a little bit high, Xavier. Just tip down, just a tiny bit. Okay, come on up, gang. You don't completely need to hear this, Erica, because your gesture is, you're dead, you know? So, um, but expressively dead, you know, tragically dead. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, I'm gonna have you up here, Lorena, and camera angle's gonna be roughly here. You'll have your laundry, you know, your lovely robe here, and you can be just like this. Did you bring an emery board? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, and file on your nails. <laughs> and Nick is the detective and he's like looking at you and you're completely blasé like, officer, I, I don't know. I couldn't even begin to imagine what happened to that poor young uh, dancer who was competing for my role. Okay, all right. And Nick, you're the disbelieving detective. Like, miss, you know more than you're letting on. Lights going off for a second, folks. You picked a good spot. I saw this place, I saw it graphically and I thought, Perfect. All right, so where is that? What do you think, Seth? I think this looks swell. Gee, Joe. No, I think, um, <laughs> are you gonna, are you gonna have her shoes big in the corner? Like, yeah. them out? Yep. That's, yep. Good, that's cool, that's cool. All, all gone, guys? There it is. Could you take those, uh, instead of washing them off the wall, because it's just too much light, it's bleeding everything else out, could you try um, just one in the corner? Okay. See, you know the attitude, the raw attitude of the lights outside? See if you can just mimic that and fly it towards me. Towards power, it down, power it down, like, like three-quarter angle, like coming this way, okay. just a raw light in the corner, still inside, yes. and take that light. Uh, it's a D group, so I can't TTL it or adjust it. I don't know, put it at like 3.0 or something okay. like that, you know, and, and keep one dead. Okay, and we're just kind of rake, raking it along. Just way. rake it along here. Yep, let's see what happens. Right. Dustin, on your way out, can you lower that light so that it's below the uh, eyesight line of the actual dryers okay. and angled up? Thank you much. Beautiful thing about a shoot like this, I got Cliff Hausner on the set with me, <laughs> you know? So if I got a pro photo question, he's got a pro photo answer. Not bad. Did you take that other green light, the one that's dead, replace that gel with a theatrical blue, the deep blue, and I'll figure out what I want to do. You see how, how that is doing this? I don't know that I can reproduce that, but I, I'll give it a wing. 
I'll give it a try. Okay. That's better. That's better. That's better. We're at a 15th at F8. We're at ISO 800. We're within the bounds of the camera. And now I gotta light this sucker up front. Light's gonna be there, angled this way. It's gonna blow past. Lorena will be in here. Now what I could do is a couple of small lights. I could incorporate a couple of um, speed lights on the, on the speed light two boxes with grids and just key them just a little bit so there's not a lot of splash. So we'll see. You guys good to go? Yeah. Xavier? <laughs> Do me a favor and bring it up in here and bang it off of, uh, just lay it on the floor and bang it off of these guys over here. Just bo bounce it that way so it washes back this way. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Okay, ladies, you could get gowned up, okay? So here's, here's the problem uh, or the, the thing you have to solve. I've got the background pretty effectively lit as if we're in you know, the city and the neon and all that sort of stuff, so that's okay. So now, how do you light your subjects without killing that effect? That's, that's my, my issue right now. So I have to start lighting my, my talent up front and hopefully not blowing away everything I just created up here. It may speak to small light sources. We'll see, see what happens. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Okay, cool. All right, here we go, Nick, just a quick thing. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be all right. Yep, it's actually better now because Nick's suit is taking on some of the red, um, which is cool. So Nick, come a, um, come a tiny bit out from the machine if you don't mind. Thank you much, okay. Then we gotta key her in the dryer. Now, I've got a couple of toolkits, which I'm pretty sure I have small um, torches. Um, I'll look for that because Nick could, I could give you a, a small flashlight. You could be like. I'm going to put this in here. You, um, you don't have to do anything right now. Just kind of relax. Anything I can do to make you more comfortable. More towels. I'm fine. Okay. I'm going to kind of put this guy just kind of over here. Now, when that starts going off, you might want to just close your eyes a little bit because it's going to be fairly bright. Okay. Nick, could you come on in? Nick, can you open your stance towards me just a little bit? There you go. Good. All right. So gesture towards Lorena and Lorena, you just kind of like, you know, could you take that, that green light? I think it's green on the floor up there. Can you scooch it? See where Tony is sitting? Just scooch it camera side of Tony. Oh, it's a blue. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a blue. Yeah, slide it more this way so it's more towards this edge of the table, if you don't mind. Awesome. Thank you very much. Stick now, Eric, uh, Lorena, can you push the basket towards me just a tiny bit, please? Keep coming. There you go. Good. And you kind of, yeah, commensurately kind of step a little bit forward yeah and a tiny bit if you can this way scooch yep nice thank you all right so we're going to do a couple of versions of this i'm going to do this kind of static and then i'm going to come close to your feet erica are you comfortable is that a ridiculous question yeah they're fine they don't look oh see they don't look pretty so this is important okay cool okay. And let's just stash it in the low, or the one that's below okay. her shoes, please. And are we aiming towards the back? Yeah, aim it towards the back, and you got to tuck it in there so I don't see it, please. Beautiful silver reflection. Um, think this through with me, guys. Would it? Would she appear to be more dead if one ballet shoe was dangling from her foot instead of like being perfect? Well, maybe have the ribbons fall. Yeah. That's ridiculous that you can do that. They would take me to a hospital if I tried to do that. Like, I feel like I need to look shoved Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Like, we've had to tell but... Unloosen it, unloosen it. Let me see it more messy, like... 
Okay, let's, yeah, let's drop both legs down, just as dead-like as you possibly can. Okay, let the tutu come up. There you go, nice. Okay, here we go. Great expressions. Nice, excellent. Nice, good look. Everybody's great, everybody's great. Nice job, nice job. Perfect. Uh, Nick, you keep looking at her like that, and Lorena, you just gesture back towards him, like, you know, I don't know, I don't know, you know? I mean, you have to ask her. Oh, sorry, you can't ask her. So let's just piece this together, uh, foreground and background. Foreground is a Profoto B10 Plus, and it's got a one by three strip on it with a grid. Grid is important because it's columnating the light and not allow, allowing it to blow all over the place. Inside the dryers, the two lead dryers, we have A1Xs. And those are warmed up with gels, just providing a little detail. Otherwise, these dryers are like bullet holes. You know, they're just black. And they kind of have some sort of detail, so you really know what you're dealing with. And then, of course, we have the fabulous Erica, Nick, and Lorena, our talent. In the background, outside, we've got Profoto B4s with red and blue gels. They're washing through the neon of the windows, filling the ceiling, and giving a little color and drama and sort of crime scene kind of ambiance. Then on the floor, we have some green and some blue. I kind of went a little bit nuts with the gels and figure it's New York City at night, have some fun. So the lights on the floor are also B10 pluses and they also have gels. They're raw, they have no shaper. So in effect, there's only one light shaper essentially in use here, and it's the one by three RFI strip softbox. Everything else is just raw light. One of the keys to the setup is the lights out in the street. I, I never like to see a completely black window. I just try to create volume and dimension. Light comes through the windows, even at night in New York City. You know, So I have a red gel and a blue gel flash out in the street. They're running pretty strongly. They're, they're running off the ceiling. Uh, you could do this with, say, a B1X at 500 watts, crank it out, and put it outside the window, and it creates life and drama and dimension. And also, the red and blue are sort of lending itself to the idea of this being a crime scene. All right, cool. All right, let's lose the handcuffs. Erica, I'm going to make a suggestion, and I don't know if this will work at all. Could we take you out of there, give you a break for a couple of minutes? And then I'm going to reverse you and have your head out, hanging out, and a ballet shoe strap wrapped around your neck. Nice. I love it. Okay. I mean, I can just go in What a sadistic bunch of folks we are. <laughs> okay, hang on. All right. Erica, yeah. it's perfect, except I need to light you. So get back in there and and try to relax if you can. <laughs> Precision gelling. All right, so. All right, so guys, um, I think we could probably get away with something like this, like a handheld. This is 1A. Let's give this a try. Good look, good look. Way to go, way to go. All right, let me just quickly test this. Oh, that's really, really, actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Let's get her out of the dryer and let me review some of these. Erica, bravo. Everybody, bravo, thank you. Nice job. We're close. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Yep. Yep. Let's leave it. Okay. So let's get in position. Let's bring this guy and tuck it right in here, the low strip, please. Yep. There I was. Nice king. That's a nice shot. Yeah, it's going to have to come back a tiny bit, please. Thank you. Okay, now let's get this boomed overhead of camera right on that shoe right there. Thank you. Nice. Okay, let me just test. 
All right, I'm gonna shoot maybe 10 or 15 frames of this, and then we're gonna switch to her head, because from this angle, the head really works, okay? To the left. It just looks like white light. It's so white, right? Is it? it let me see that. It's on. I'm watching Give it. Give me. Who is this? Oh, you know what it might be? Here, let's feather feather this. That's it. Yeah. Oh, nice. We're done. Nice job, everybody. Let's get that lady out of the dryer, please. And we're done. That's a wrap here in the laundromat in Brooklyn. And lots of colors, lots of lights. Outside, inside, different zones. I actually got to a point where I sort of forgot what each zone was doing and I was ending up controlling the lights manually to a degree even though I still had radio signals to them. It was just a fun night and the talent was wonderful. It hung on their expressions and they did a fantastic job and I just tried to make things lively by going out on location and just, you know, taking a location and transforming it with light. It was fun to do. So hopefully the saga continues on um, this uh, slightly dark, you know, but funny uh, look at the competitive world of ballet where Nick, the detective, continues to pursue this potentially murderous ballerina who is eliminating the competition in the most gruesome of ways. This is a story that still is yet to be told.